Welcome to Cartersville Elementary School. Please join us as we document the steps and experiences of this school as they move to becoming STEM certified. My name is Gary Morris. I'm the assistant principal at uh, Cartersville Elementary School. Uh, we are currently seeking uh, STEM or STEAM actually certification for our school. Uh, we feel like that uh, this will help our students to um, better understand the why behind the actual learning process. Um, they uh, under they love to do things in a project-based way, the way these kids learn, and um, so we feel like that's the, the best uh, process is to look at project-based learning and uh, to help our kids to understand um, the why behind why we t learn math, why we learn ELA, and uh, kind of look at it from an interdisciplinary process um, so that students can get a whole bigger picture of uh, the educational process. So how long would you say the process to getting your STEM certification and uh, where would you say we are in that process? Okay, uh, it's approximately about five years uh, to get the process. Uh, we are currently in the Ask and Imagine stage. Uh, we've created a steering committee and we have created a mission and vision uh, for our steering committee. Uh, and so that, that's taken us about two years. Uh, to get that in place and then the next step would be plan and create and then share and improve and so th that whole process is about about five years. And what are you hoping to see as an administrator from your students through the STEM process? What I'm hoping to see is them to be fully engaged with the content in a way that they've never been engaged before. Like they're learning about circuitry and science and they're making that connection that uh, science is important, um, or they're uh, doing some environmental um, study and, and that's making social studies become alive for them, or that they're doing some soundtrack in, uh, in music and it really makes the, it takes the engineering of music and um, uh, the love of music and puts it all together and that light comes on in the student's mind and in their face and makes them engaged and love to learn. That's what I'd like to see in our students. In our evolving world, teachers must guide students through the STEM pipeline to prepare them for future careers. Elementary schools promoting STEM that are certified in the field are seeing higher scores in math and science compared to those that aren't. We heard from the assistant principal about what we're trying to do to get STEM certified. So now we're gonna move on and we're gonna to talk to some of the teachers. I'm Andrew Wilson. I am a fifth grade teacher here at Carswell Elementary School. I teach both math and science. Okay, so as the schools move to try to get a STEM endorsement, how has that affected your planning for your class? Um, I think being a part of the STEM, uh, uh, STEM group that's actually in the process, I feel like I'm a little bit ahead of everybody else, although I have a STEM background. Um, so I've always tried to introduce a lot of that, but uh, being pushed, I guess, by the school and the district uh, to meet this, uh, I feel like there's a lot more of an incentive to uh, actually do more STEM-related projects. And as a school, we've introduced uh, PBLs uh, so that we can uh, now kind of be all together where before it was teachers doing things kind of separately. You had mentioned PBLs. Uh, what benefits have you seen with PBLs in your students? Um, we've done one PBL so far. I think is one thing is having a common uh, language among all teachers and students so that across the grade level we're not uh, all kind of doing our own thing. So students, uh, for instance, our last PBL, um, you know, we talked about inherited and uh, acquired traits. And so it's, it's a commonality that all students are able to talk about one thing. Uh, in particular, we looked at reindeer. Um, and so, you know, all of them can have these same conversations and uh, learn from each other and build a community of STEM, uh, STEM learners. What would you say is the best benefit of having STEM in your classroom? Uh, I love STEM. STEM, uh, the heart of STEM is all about uh, teaching kids to uh, learn some soft skills that they need uh, for their future, in or future jobs, uh, not just in education. Uh, so I think the, the part of STEM, having them being able to work together 
uh, to reach a common goal. Also, when they meet adversity, what do they do with that adversity? Do they uh, just throw up their hands and quit? Uh, or if they can't work with people, you know, learning how to work with each other uh, to solve problems uh, and then not give up. So I think that the kids are learning a very valuable lesson that's going to carry on with them into their workforce in the future. As you can tell, both administrators and teachers are excited about the STEM certification process. We're now going to go and check on a classroom that's working on a mini PBL as they learn and study boats. Hi, my name is Christian. I'm in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Hudson. I'm in fifth grade and we've been working on boats. To start, we learned how boats work by watching views and, read, and reading different websites. Next, we got to start designing our own boats. After our design, we collected our materials and began building our first boat. When we finished building our boat, we got to test it to see how much weight it held. Our boat did okay, but it sank. We collected our boat and went back to our area to talk about how our first test went. We then did more research, made a few changes to our design, and built a second boat. And then we got to test again. Our second boat did better than our first. We then presented this information to other groups who were doing the same project. I had a lot of fun doing this project. I hope we keep doing these projects. As we've witnessed some of Cartersville Elementary School's journey through the STEM certification process, we're reminded of the transformative power of the 21st century skills. Through STEM education, Cartersville will shaping tomorrow's innovators, problem solvers, and leaders. The future is bright, and it starts out in classrooms like these.